Hello, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom. Thank you for watching this video. So one of the most asked questions I get is what type of shower system would you use in your own house? If I were to answer that question today, it might be a little different, but let's just see what I actually did in my own house. So this, let's start with the very first one. This is the oldest bathroom remodel that we have in our house. I did this little tub surround here. Uh, we did the floor, we did the countertops. Uh, this was the first thing we actually did in our house and we bought this house in 2014. So this shower is seven years old, so, or it's a tub shower. So seven years old, the way this is constructed is with curdy board, half inch curdy board right over the studs. This shower is used every day and it has been. We have uh, kids, so this is their bathroom. This is a three by six subway tile and it is held up great. There is not a single crack in any of the corners along the base of the tub. We did a three by six gray subway tile, white grout, a little deco liner, a five eighths mosaic. The five eighths mosaic was really popular back then. We used it a lot. We also tied that in on the backsplash, but this shower has held up great. I get the question a lot if you use um, curdy board and if you're spanning the studs with a smaller tile, I mean, I. I've tried to push as hard as I can into this wall. Obviously, I haven't banged it with a hammer, but very sturdy. I think once the thin set and everything locks it all together, the half inch curdy board is fine. So this is the first bathroom. Still looks great after seven years. Okay, so the second bathroom we're gonna do is probably, actually, that's probably my favorite shower in the house is the second bathroom we did. So let's go check that one out. Okay, so here we are in the second oldest shower in the house. This was done in 2015, so this one is about six years old. This is a complete shower stall. This has a tiled shower pan, a tiled curb, and uh, we actually did the ceiling and a little jam up on the ceiling too. So this was constructed using a full curdy system. So it's got half inch curdy board on the walls, it's got a actually a foam Schluter corner bench uh, it has a mud pan we did float the pan but we did curdy membrane over that we built our curb and um, that was it of course we did the herringbone on the accent wall which makes the whole thing really pop the herringbone is just beautiful but I, I love the colors in this bathroom I love the lighting it just feels like natural and clean. It's, it's just a, I, I love this from the design to the install, everything. This is one of my favorite bathrooms. And um, my daughter is kind of decorated with some plants and whatnot, which is really cool. So it's held up great. One thing I want to note is, is this shower was done with Polyblend sanded grout. So this is the old school Polyblend. We weren't using Prism at the time or any, or Tech Power grout. This is the $15 a bag Home Depot polyblend grout that we used to get, cheap stuff, right? Well, this grout is hard as a rock. I mean, it's held up really well. It's, uh, you, you can scrape it when it's wet and it doesn't come out. And again, the pan looks really good. It's just held up, really stood the test of time. And you know, I think this has held up great. So this is another shower that's six years old that's all done in Schluter Curdy and doing great. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna to go to the master, which some of you already seen from other videos, but it's kind of like the grand finale. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is our big master shower, which is actually a double shower. It's got two shower heads. It's got two sets of body sprays. It's got two thermostatic valves, two diverters, and uh, a handheld on this side. So. This shower is built with, um, it's got Dietra heat on the floor. So we did Dietra heat all through the floor and we did curdy membrane over that. Um, the walls again are half inch curdy board. So half inch curdy board. Uh, we have a porcelain tile on this wall, large format por porcelain tile. And then we got our beautiful glass accent mosaic walls, which are just stunning. They're just brilliant. They just shine and sparkle. They're amazing. So again, this shower has held up great. There is one thing that has changed a little bit and that is the grout we used, which with this shower, we use tech power grout and this shower was done and I believe, is it three years old? So th this shower is the newest and it's probably 
worn, it's probably more worn than any of the other bathrooms. And particularly because of the grout, which has nothing to do with the waterproofing system. It's more with the grout. Um, I have some areas with Tech Power Grout that's already washing the grout all the way away. And again, if you've seen my testing videos with the Power Grout, the Prism, all the, the new high performance grouts, they just do not hold up like the older grouts. Um, so there may be some regrouting in the future that we need to do take care of. Um, also, we have the linear drains in here. So linear drains also require a little bit more maintenance. When you have the center square grates in uh, like the other shower, we've never had to do anything to it. We never have to clean it. Everything goes down that drain. The linear grates, the tileable grates, um, they get kind of gunked up under there. So you got to take them out and at least like once every couple weeks, you got to really give them a clean because mildew will start to grow in there. They got the little hair catchers that, um, you know, get caught up, you know, they get some gunk in them. So um, this shower, believe it or not, requires more maintenance than the other ones. So even though my testing has shown that Curdy will wick underneath the bands, in a practical use where a shower is used once or twice a day and allowed to dry out in between, Curdy works just fine, at least for the seven years that I've been able to tell. You know, beyond that, I can't really tell and pretty much nobody really can tell because Curdy hasn't been out that long. So um, for seven years, it's done great. And again, keep in mind, I am not sponsored by Schluter. I'm not sponsored by Laticrete. Nobody is paying me to, you know, promote their stuff. I paid for everything in, this, in these bathrooms. No supplies were given to me by Schluter. I bought it all and I wanna keep it that way. So thank you guys for your support so that I'm allowed to do that. When you go to tilecoach.com and buy merchandise, that helps me make these videos, helps them stay un unbiased so that I'm sharing true, honest information with you. So again, thanks for being with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing our bathrooms. I hope it did something for you. And I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.